Greetings mortals, I am Nathans, the ruler of the underworld, and today we will be reacting to the newest chapter of my academia, chapter 394, titled Ochako Raka vs Himiko Toga! Ah, so we are going One Piece logic in terms of these battles, which also means these battle, this battle is going to end uh, this chapter, or the very least it's very likely that it's going to end this chapter. But yeah, before we get into the chapter, let's talk about the color spread since we get it this week, which are kind of surprising since, you know, in a couple, in six chapters we're probably going to get another color spread to to uh, accommodate on the 400 chapter marks. It's again, the story's definitely not going to end in six, before chapter 400. So yeah, kind of surprised that we're seeing this, especially since we have like all of the class 1A with All Might and Aizawa there. It is like weird suits they wear. I kind of say they wear college outfits or something, but uh, Aizawa also wears one, which which is odd because he would probably be a teacher. And to be fair, there are some different outfits on them. It's like they all wear the same, but still, like, it's kind of, they have, like, a set style with them. But, yeah. Not, and I say all those color spread for all of the characters. Yeah, and fine enough, we actually do see Hagakure in how she looks without her, her invisibility powers. Which I guess now it's going to be a thing in color spreads, the fact we're actually going to be able to see her, since we do know how she looks like now. Also, an noteworthy thing is, uh, on this page, everyone but, uh, uh, everyone but, uh, Bongo is happy, and I, we don't, like, even Ozawa is happy. While uh, while uh, Bongo is uh, like kind of in the air, walking downwards, and not just looking at Daku, not pleased, and All Might is walking away with uh, with his jacket just being more used as a cape, maybe symbolizing that he is going to die. I know the last time we had this kind of color page, it was in Black Clover, where it looked like the army was gonna die, but he's still alive. Also, I guess not everyone's happy, but Minata is because Minata is being held by one of uh, by one of, by two, you know, as he's wrecked to it. But yeah, whatever. Also, Kaminari is going with that fur coat style in his jacket. But anyways, uh, let's get into the actual meat of this chapter with the battle between Ochako and Toga. Anyways, there we start to see uh, all of the... I think this is... A, I'm not sure if this is like a flashback to previous chapter or if this is just supposed to be kind of like showing. I think it's supposed to be a flashback. And we see uh, Uraka getting off by the copy... by the, all the copies as Uraka uh, thinks of... Or oh, someone thinks to themselves, there is something weird about my oh, Zaka, but definitely. There's something weird about my zero gravity. As then everyone kind of gets like symbolically touched and spreads. And then we have all of them kind of going into the air with some. Oh, you know where there are a few twice copies and all those guys still on the ground. Ground as they are staring up at what's going up there. We also get like a little light to show. I mean, I think it's there. It's supposed to be there, like. In a circle, I think there are some twice between, but like you, those that's where uh, Urochako and Toga are. As then we have uh, Toga saying, "What the?" Is in Urochako's to stuff. I don't get it. My that myself. As they have a, a copy of Jiro things of well, whole chains of us are floating. And we also get a bit of her ribs. <laughs> nice to see. Is in uh, Toga's like, oh yeah, well. What if it, I make a new double? And then we have Toga making an... Or maybe that might just be the real... I think that's supposed to be the real Toga. As he makes... Although I think at this point it should already be uh, removed. As we have like this Toga make... This twice copy... This twice Toga making a copy of twi twice. But it's also floating. As we see this Toga uh, saying... Same problem! It's just like me that other time. Like what happened when I almost... Most was killed. And we see her, when Toga, you know, killed all Curious and her get goggle of goopies. As then we have Kamei Woods using his uh, vines to grab Tiger with a to Jiro and Tsuna. And I believe they those two were with him last time. As Kamei Woods like, Tiger! It starts like, it goes like, Kamei Woods! Kamei Woods responds with, Are you the real one, you? 
as in dog is like, with these wounds, our fake wounds have all, would have already melted away. So that's how we are able to know which one's the which. When if they are say really wounded, that means they are the real ones. Although, actually, I think that Toga's cup, Twice's cup is do take all the damage that they are taking. Although, maybe it's not blood, but it's like still the same wounds if that's the knowledge they have of you. So, to, Tiger's cup is, would still have to be extremely banged up. But anyways, we have Tiger be like, but man, I thought the girl's max capacity was three tons. Uh, to be fair, it probably is max three tons. Well, I thought the girl's max capacity was three tons. I will not. I mean, I don't really think that's his like. Is he referring to how uh, how everything together has to be said, or just like one sad thing? Because I'm pretty sure that uh, all of these, not every one of these copies is like above three tons. But I guess, and we know, like, we know one person can float in the air, so I guess it's supposed to be all these together. But anyways, we have Tiger then saying, These kids, I swear, they've come a hell of a long way since boot camp last year, which is true. Like, you, I mean, if you go back and look at it, you probably see the difference already completely. Anyways, when we cut to Chaco, we've seen her wound and she got stabbed two chapters ago, I believe, as it's putting all around her, and she's like, my whole body is go going cold, but what matters right now is that I want want to reach out and touch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is so gonna be oh the uh, fan art and the fan fiction art are so gonna go into this now, as we see like this very cool sh uh, shot of uh, charcoal having her mouth covered in blood, and she extends her hand and uses her like wire to reach the real toga. In the dramatic sub, and then we see uh, Toga there, still crying a bit, and we see uh, Chaco's wire wrapping around Toga's hands, which are also, Toga's almost completely new to this point, like the, the thing that was covering her uh, twice is, is almost completely gone, as we have a chaco so that's all inside of you, as then we have the twice is, I don't know if they're trying to help, or if they're just trying to, uh, a match move them so they can uh, go onto the ground again. It's not th this is a bit of a disadvantage with all them floating in the air. As then we see uh, the weapon, the like the you know like little canister, the mask, and all that thing that she ha that Toga had to like collect blood. All that also I think starting to float. As though it's like ah, as I think she, it looks like she's kind of calling it. Though. Although I'm not saying that that's the case. As you see, a bunch of the twice copies all swimming around her, like we're just still again like a fucking water pole of them. As they have to uh, Chaka saying to Toga, "My family was poor, and my folks were looking, oh, looking kind of gloom, kind of gloomy. I set out to become a hero to make their lives easier and cheer them up." As Toga knows this, what she's saying right now. As we have Chaka saying, "But as I grew up, I learned that the world's full of other people who just." Not just my parents and our home. As then we have Toga trying to break through it. As just says, And then I fell in love with Izuku Midora and now I'm trying to stop you. That's who I am. That's why I'm here right now. As she's you know, trying to reason with her again. Using, yeah, my life may not have been as bad as yours, but I still, my family was still struggling. And I guess uh, using loving Izuku as like, you know, to uh, go uh, continue going into that more schoolgirl time I talk here. Again, kind of a tension killer, but I get the like idea uh, behind this. As there we have uh, Toga having a knife as she goes to swing it at Ochako. I think she does actually hit Ochako or, or maybe not. Maybe she goes for a stab. But, uh, there is some struggle in there. As there Ochako screams, So tell me, what's on your mind? You know, trying to talk to everything. As a chance, you know, that's kind of like a reverse of the situation. Like, usually, your chalk, Toga would be the one to talk about other stuff and not the actual battle going on right now, but now Ochak is the one. Then we have Toga remembering Dobby when he was burning her house. As they have Chaka tell her, Your thoughts and feelings, all of it! As in, Chaka, Toga again goes into furious rage. As they will see her going like full savage. And then we see like a, a bunch of panels from the story of, Ch of Toga, of things she saw, her member in the crush and everything. And she goes there for a stab. And then we see this like very horrific, like what kind of a horror movie 
that uh, Hakoshi watched before he went into to join this chapter. We see like a, I want to say togas, or not togas, like just a bunch of veins and diff in different type of flash, like all kind of being mangled together in this like very extended horror setting with. To, with the upper half of Toga's body being very detailed, by the way, going there as there's like a little kid of chocolate that we ended up with the last chapter of Chocolate giving her hand for her to suck the blood off. As we see, uh, one hand going above above a chocolate's hat, looking like it's going to step through her, with the other one look, having like this sadistic grin. Like uh, this is actually a more horrific grin that you know, Toga has. Like this, is like a uh, completely different character kind of grin. Like. You know, a very whole ask one. And then I have a charcoal, uh, Toga again crying, as in she kind of regains her sanity a bit. As then uh, we have Toga saying to her, I fall in love really easily with animals, with villains, with heroes, with boys, with girls. After all, I've got, they've all got such amazing blood pumping through them. As he's kind of like shaking for it as he's saying this. <laughs> Which, alright, that is that fact that you mentioned animals is a bit concerning. Although, fan fiction wise, I definitely enjoy her. Get ready for the crazy uh, lip balls uh, using Toga as some kind of mouthpiece for representation. Although, they might now be shaking, attacking Hakoshi for having. A villain saying that oh she's in love with everyone, but whatever. Those guys would be rage quitting anyways. It might be rage quitting just the fact that Ochako said that she's in love with Izuko. Because they are not going to let a woman, man and a boy be together because it's not gay. <laughs> As they have Ochako like responding, and, mm hmm. As they have uh, Toga saying, they'll tell me to stop grinning and I'll get so. And, I would get so jealous as a child saying, like, mm hmm. Is listening to her responding, which to be fair, I thought, okay. as someone who does mm hmm a lot, it doesn't sound very like you're listening. It just kind of sounds like you're, actually, you're badly acknowledging it. As then we have her saying, Izuku reminds me of a boy I used to li like. His name was Saito. As then we see uh, Saito there, as he's like, you know, doing some normal stuff as he was. I should that saying sometimes to sometimes Tuesday, a weird shit, but all right. There's then the dog is like, but it's not like I could just ask him for his blood, cause like they'll call me a freak or something. As then we see Ochako and uh, uh, Toga symbolically as children, kind of like being in the air talking and cr and with Toga crying. As then Toga is like, then he. would Think I was definitely not cute. I mean, there's a certain cuteness to the sadistic expressions. As I was saying, is they are kind of returning back to their, well, looking like they're real, how they actually are, and how actually this is, or how look, this looks like to, from some perspective, from uh, looking up at them. As Togo says, just like you and Izuku, they'll all scold and lecture me on the right way to get. That's why I joined the League of Villains. Basically, because you know, everyone was constantly criticizing and thinking about her. You know, we all know Toga's character at this point. As in Toga screams, as she goes for a stab, it's like, because with them, I could li live and love how I needed to. As then she goes, but she doesn't actually stab to uh, Chaco. It's kind of like she goes for a stab, but it kind of gets, but her, ha her elbow goes to Chaco's shoulder, which misses her hand completely. As then Ojaka kind of goes for a hug, is in sense. As then we have a Toga saying, the signs were always there for, from you, but it took me so long to notice. Which one makes me, me think, oh, this is Ojaka speaking. But as then you see the last of twice as much kind of going into the air, kind of vanishing. As then we have uh, Toga saying, so, ah, time's up, Jin's blood is used up. Jin is fading away. Basically, like, there's no Jin after this. Like, previously you could uh, make, oh, a copy of Jin or something like that was still there, but now it's gone. It's completely deactivating itself. And then we see all the twice copies also being evaporated. That as it stands, like, we see them slowly, which I'm not entirely certain why. 
but they are. They are all kind of getting rid of. So they're all vanishing and disappearing as well. Or or maybe it's just the ones that are covered with twice because it's like we see a lot of Tova there, and that one just seems to be getting all the twice stuff out of her. So I think, and we see also the full twice cup is going away. It's hard to see if the normal, uh, the rest like uh, the Jiro, Tsuyu, Pixie Bob, Tiger, and all those guys are also evaporating. Then we see Jiro in the air also floating as she didn't go amongst them. And she's like, Uraraka? And her shot seems to be quite destroyed at this point. Not full, like, not Toga levels of destroyed. Where she, but, like, you still can see her shit, like, being kind of ripped and all. And she's kind of, like, all exhausted, okay, up. And then we see that shot of the two of them, respectively. And then we see Ochako hugging Ging Toga, who is completely nude, by the way. Like, it's kind of, like, it's that thing that Okokoshi pointed out in one of the volumes. Like, okay, there's no way Toga could have put her clothes on in this scene. Like, no matter how much you want to explain it, like, it ruins attention. And it's like, it's literally can't. Which, between Toga and Vonica, this is gonna be a big in showing that characters that have females that have blood, oh, characters that have blood related abilities are gonna be nude at the end of their fights. Like, regardless of what happens, they will be nude. <laughs> as, anyways, then we have, uh, I think Ochako is responding to Toga as, they are hug as she's hugging her with. Well, the thing is, I think there's something really amazing about someone who's all. Wrecked, but trying their darkness anyway. As if Chuck was telling Toga, as they're both trying to cry, which I feel like Chuck is just crying because of the damage at this point. Like, I feel, again, she's bleeding the whole time. It's like, so maybe I'm not, not I'm no replacement for the league, but I want to, you to know how special I think your smile is. Do not worry, Ochako, I am still not entirely convinced Toga will survive this. I mean, have you seen what happened to the rest of the league? I mean, Spinner is a potato, as far as we know so far. Dobby is burned from inside to outside, and I'm, again, not thinking there's no way you can heal him at this state. Uh, Kompatska is still alive, which at least one of them might be there to be a friend with, to with Toga, but I don't think they'll be in the same jail cell. Um, then we have uh, oh, Doma is fine, but again, I would not be surprised if he dies himself in some way. But yeah, anyways... The, anyways, then we have uh, Toga saying, uh, I... And then we have, uh, we have, like, their first meeting with... Uh, I No, actually, I think the, then we have the fight, not sure, I think that was the first... It was the beginning of the war with Cho Ochako and Tsu went up against Toga. Uh, uh, as we have Toga, remember her saying, Izuku, Ochako, I love you, you bit, but... If you, I love you, but... As they have a uh, Toga saying, am I cute? And she has a like, grin and a smile, which is, you know, I think it's supposed to be a bit more cute. But it's like, in character, like, it, there shouldn't be like, some kind of pure for kind of smile. It's supp still supposed to be Toga's smile. As they have a Chaco saying, she's probably fading into unconsciousness because of, again, like, bleeding from her, bleeding in the air while she, blood is probably going all over in the air. And she says, the cutest in the whole world. And she's probably passing off her nose. Then we see Ochako's also caught. Uh, Toga again, uh, also gets a shot of Toga ha being happy, which that, this guy does look a bit more like traditional, purely cute. But you know, it, it, the both of them are still very, it, Toga it gets started cute. And then we see, I think, all of the twice copies all slowly disappearing in the, to the rain. And so there's not gonna be a bunch of mud in every race, or someone drowns out in bl in mud. <laughs> Which is funny, you can say the fact that there's a bunch of corpses everywhere. Like, there's no way you can tell me that in that entire fucking engulfment of twice, there was not someone who just died because they were stabbed on or crushed by someone. But anyways, we end this chapter. Fine enough, we don't have like a like a similar like transition as we had to with Dobby to Ch to Toga, where we had. Um, an end of chapter, but then another pa page uh, for like to set up the next fight. In the end, it'll be like post credit scene kind of deal here. So yeah, this is the end of the fight. So all in all, this was a pretty, uh, this was a do good, con I think a logical conclusion for this chapter. And to like, uh, I think 
kind of like, I think this is supposed to set up, like, the, the battle between Toga and Grand Dabi, I think are also supposed to set up, like, the what path will, Dab, will Toma go down? Since, you know, you have Dobby, who just continued his rage, you know, like, his personality or anything, they don't change while, while they were all co the Todoroki family was all committing, it was just too far gone. To well, Choco was going the road of, you know, reasoning with the villains, side with the villains, and all that type of stuff. So, in that sense, I do kind of get the idea. So, in that sense, it's... You get the idea, yeah, here, more thoroughly, and more uh, well done. So, this is, I think, supposed to, like, which path would Toma go by? Now, again, I do not think this is the end for the story. Like, I don't see, think that the next thing we're gonna get, like, the Toga handcuff and probably put a cloak over her, like, she's fucking new to this point, people, like, she, I mean, the other characters at least have something on them, like, she's completely, like, I don't know, they're gonna uh, escort a 19-year-old, you know, person completely nude. Well, I, but I do have to question if she's gonna have, like, a moment where she's gonna go try to reason with Shiraki, and she's, like, the only League member who's still, you know, alive for one, and functional for one, that can actually be, you know, participating in the battle right now. So I do get, see her there, but then I could totally see her as she like slowly reasoning with uh, Shigaraki. You have either the real for one or the all for one that's still a part of all, the tiny bits or fragments of all for one still being there, killing Toga at that moment. And like again, I could still see it. Like I don't, I want, I'm not certain about how things are gonna end up with, but you know, there's still an option there. So we have to wait and see if this is like gonna be the end, and then next time we're just gonna have more of an epilogue with her, or if Toga is just gonna be killed by by all for one in some way to get the shock into a rage fit. But yeah, this is the end of the chapter. Oh no, it was a decent conclusion chapter. You know what we were going for, and you and you set up the like two paths for Toma uh, to go to. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you like this chapter reaction. I hope you leave your thoughts in this chapter in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to this channel for more videos in the future. And with that said, I cannot wait to see all of you mortals next time. Goodbye.